All right, today we're going to take a look at a progression on, on improving the body's ability to abduct and then being able to do that at a high speed here and high velocity. So exercise one starts you from the ground and gives you the ability to abduct. Two stands you up, makes it a little tougher. Three, four, and five uh, make it more dynamic and so that we can get the most out of our, our force production, whether you are uh, doing a lateral shuffle, whether you are driving off the mound, or whether you're coming out of a cut. The ability to abduct the hip, abduct the leg, and get full push is vital for uh, being fast in your game. So the first exercise in this series of, of teaching someone how to abduct or push off uh, out of a cut or push off of the right leg, whether you're a pitcher or uh, in, any, in any situations you may need to drive or abduct uh, your leg, I want to you know, give you the ability to do that. So um, you may not be at this point, you may be able to do a higher level exercise, but this is kind of ground zero on learning how to abduct uh, your leg. So I'm going to lay on my side. I'm gonna elevate my leg, I'm gonna reach it really long, and that abducts my hip, and then I'm gonna to try to abduct my leg. So I lay on my side, I reach my top leg really long, that puts my hip in a position of abduction, and then I try to lift or abduct my leg, and you should feel a lot of work on the side of your hip and then and back in the glute. and I take breaths with that. This is a PRI exercise uh, that we use with a lot of success here, and it, it learns, it teaches you how to like shut off your right adductor and turn on your uh, lateral right hip and uh, your, your posterior glute med and your glute max, and it's a big time helper to teach you how to abduct that leg and give you the ability to drive off uh, of that right leg. Okay, now that we have gained the ability to actually abduct our leg, step two is getting on our feet and increasing the demand on that ability. So here's an exercise, again, it's another PRI exercise that you can call it uh, standing supported left stance, standing lady in glasses for the PRI people. Uh, you guys kind of know what I'm talking about, but all the weight is on your left foot. Your body is kind of centered over that left foot. You're gonna put your hands down on a box, reach your arms long, tuck your hips underneath you and evert your foot and abduct your leg. When I say evert your foot, I mean turn it in like that. So you're trying to put your arch down to the ground. That helps activate uh, the glute there. So all the weights on my left heel, left foot, I reach up long, I abduct my right leg, I evert my right foot, keep my hips underneath me, and I'll take four to five breaths there. I'll show you a different look. Again, all the weights on my left foot, my arms are long, my right leg is abducted, my foot is everted. I keep all the weight on this left leg and I breathe. If you're doing this well, if you have the ability to do this exercise, you should feel lateral hip, and, and, and glute max, and maybe even uh, left groin area and some left ab. So now we're gonna move into uh, exercises three, four, and five of our fixes for the ability to push off out of a cut or even drive off the mound if you're a pitcher or you know, if you're a hitter transition that, that power from back to front. So a lot of times we know due to our asymmetries in our body, we have an inability to push off our right leg. But regardless if you have an inability to push off your right or your left, these exercises can work for both sides. So one, once we have addressed the body's abilities uh, to actually abduct the leg and push off, we're gonna put that into action now. So. First thing we need to do is you need to transition it into something maybe a little bit more slow and controlled, like a side lunge. So I may go here, maybe I alternate each side to get that abduction right there, feeling the inside of my foot, the arch of my foot right there. So that's something a little bit more slow and controlled to demonstrate the ability to abduct off that leg. Then I need to uh, transition to something a little bit more dynamic and powerful. So while side med ball throws are commonly used as upper body exercises, I like to use them for actually lower body exercises to teach driving out of a cut or pushing off with your, ab your back leg. So I'll be here and you're gonna watch me drive off this back leg and abduct it as I explode forward. 
I'll give you a couple examples. And you're just seeing me get really long with this back leg, transitioning all my momentum forward. So now that we have demonstrated the power, the ability to do that, let's put it in more of a reactive, and I mean reactive, like uh, plyometric elastic uh, situation. So you're gonna watch me do a lateral skip. I'm gonna abduct and shoot myself forward. And there you have it. So that's the end of our progression on learning how to push off uh, uh, out of that right leg. Right, now that we've gone through the full progression of exercises, you see how we logically take you from the ground all the way up increasing demands to standing up to a high velocity. This will help your athlete improve force production, the ability to abduct, whether it's coming out of a cut, a lateral shuffle, or driving off the mound as a pitcher. Your athlete absolutely needs the ability to abduct and abduct at a high rate of speed. I hope these help. If you guys like this video, please share it to all your friends. If you want more content on how to enhance your training program or become a better coach, go to www.ifastuniversity.com.